Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you guys how I am setting up my deluxe monthly planner with the Erin Condren adhesive tabs. Um, so I've done this in, a, in my work planner already, and I've already put in half of the um, adhesive tabs for this planner, but I wanna show you kind of the last couple ones because it does take quite a bit. I didn't do anything um, super mathematical about doing it. I just kind of like measured it out just um, by looking at it. And I apologize for like the shadows and stuff. I'm filming these at night right now because of like finals and stuff. This is really the only time that I have to do it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how it looks. I think that's really good spacing. So I'm going to start with July. And um, really quickly, I'm just going to put these in August in um, order so that it's easier for me to grab. Um, one thing that you have to be careful about with these are making sure that you put them down in the right spot because if you don't, then you will rip it off. And you can kind of see in March, I completely screwed it up and it's like peeling. So I'm gonna have to tape that or like glue it. Um, but just be really careful, kind of test it out before you peel off the adhesive part. So. I'm just going to follow kind of what I did for the first couple tabs. So for January, I started right at the, um, or I like ended it right where the color ends. So I'm going to do the same thing for July. So you just peel these pieces off. And um, I always start doing the front of it first, and then I try and line it up in the back. So, um, and you also kind of want to have the edge here. Um, kind of meet the edge of the paper. So try and do that. Honestly, it doesn't really matter that much. If you're a perfectionist, it'll probably bother you, but um, for me, it doesn't bother me too much. So I just press it down really well, and then I just kind of line up the back of it, um, just making sure that the sticker's not sticking out from the back. Um, and again, I just press it down really good. I'm doing this video because when I decided to buy the monthly deluxe and the tabs, I remember looking on YouTube to find any tutorials about like how good they were and all of that. Honestly, it's a pain putting them on, but once they're on, they're actually pretty good quality. Again, I haven't used these planners um, for like a, like for a year yet, but um, so far they've seemed to hold up pretty well in my backpack and stuff that I bring my work planner to. Um, so now, I'm again, I'm just kind of following what I did before. So I want them to have like a pretty even spacing. So for February, I started it right after the, um, the line that kind of separates all of the days from the individual days. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing for August. I just need to peel this back and I double check it a million times just to make sure I'm starting it where I need to start it because again once you put these things down it's really hard to get them up without damaging the paper or the actual sticker. I'm always surprised when I like when I get these planners that they don't already have tabs because why would you get a monthly um, planner without them, but I'm sure there are reasons behind that and maybe some people don't like the tabs But personally I do especially for like budgeting and um, Other reasons. I mean I fill stuff in ahead of time all the time at least with sticky notes um, so I like it, but I'm sure they have a reason so for March I need to start it at one two three so right after one two three the, the right on the third line so that will be September that I have to do. So one, two, three. So I'll start it right here at that third line. And again, I'm sure you could be way more mathematical about this. I personally don't care that much to do it that way, but you could, one, two, three. So that September is going to go right here. Again, you wanna try and line up the edges of the sticker to the edge of the paper. And I always push it down really well. I know a lot of people also prefer to put the um, adhesive tabs on this page here. For me, it really doesn't matter. And honestly, I'd rather like I'd rather flip through and get this page right here. So 
it really doesn't matter but you can kind of go with what what you like okay so September's in now we need to follow what March was like nope we need to follow what April was like so with April you're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight so start at the eighth line and that's going to be October one two three four five six seven eight so right there again i showed you guys this halfway through because this video is already five minutes and i still have three more to put on it's just they take quite a bit of time to do and like to put them on well so again one two three four five six seven eight that's where it's going to go down Oops, stuck to the table. When I looked on YouTube, I did find um, like one or two videos and the videos that I saw, one was like someone seriously used a ruler and figured out exact measurements. Um, I don't have time for that. So I knew that wasn't gonna be something that I followed. Um, and another way I think it was just kind of, they were just figuring it out pretty similar to the way that I was doing it, but there really wasn't much out there. So I'm sure if some of you guys are planning to use deluxe monthlies for your budgeting. Um, so I thought that would be helpful to show. So for November, we need to start at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And having the sticker ready without the the um the back of the sticker on there when you're counting is really key because I feel like I lose my place all the time. So get that on. Tomorrow I have my final class for the semester. It's a finance class and I actually have to work on my project when I'm done filming a couple of videos. So night's gonna be a long night. Okay, so that's in there, that follows May. And then for December, that one's pretty easy because I know it is going to end right there. So hopefully this video was informational for you guys. Again, I searched and searched for videos of these before I bought the adhesive tabs and I really didn't find much so I thought you know you guys probably have gone through the same thing trying to look for and hopefully that's right yeah looking for ways to put these down and maybe even you guys could if you want it to look if you want it to kind of line up the same way that I've done it then um, you could just kind of use the way that I the way that I did and use the same line numbers and all of that that's kind of one of my reasons for counting out but also because I just need to okay so December's in okay so I'll kind of show you guys how they look so they all line up very well um, next to each other you can see like all of the months are like January is in front of July and February is in front of August. They all line up very well. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry again about the shadows, guys, but hopefully you can kind of see. I really like the way that it's set up. It's the perfect distance, I think, from the end. So anyway, guys, that is my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for other ways to do this that would make um, other people's lives easy, please leave please leave them in the comments down below. Again, this is just kind of the way that I chose to do it, but I'm sure there's a way better way to do it. So if um, if you're interested in a different way, please check the comments. I'm hoping that you know other people will leave other ways of doing it. But anyway, guys, that is my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.